Anyway, so I came across this beautiful dog and no owner was nearby to see. And it was massive. Like it was a big, big, big boy. Like this, like bigger than this. Like it was a big, beautiful husky. And there was a lady nearby and she goes, do you know what to do with a lost dog? Huh? She was like, yes, this dog is lost. Its collar has no tag, no nothing. I was like, oh. and the dog came up to me and I was like, got some pets. It was so cute, like beautiful, sweet, amazing, massive doggo. Yeah, I was like, well, it's mine now. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ma'am. Goodbye. Um, no, but for real. I started petting the dog. It's like, so you have no idea whose it is? She was like, no, and it's been following me a bit, and now it's kind of following you. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. Actually, let me turn on my stream deck so I can make some mean sounds if I want to. <laughs> so, beautiful dog, no owner, no nothing. And she's like, Unfortunately, I can't take it in even just to call animal services because um, I have a dog and she's in heat and I think this is a boy and I don't want any accidents. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, like it's so unfortunate. I have this big apartment just to myself and my cat and it has a bedroom. So like I can keep my cat in the bedroom and like I can take the dog, hypothetically speaking. Um, <laughs> And she was like, oh, well, like, do you know what to do? Like, if there's a lost dog? And I was like, bish, why are you quizzing me? Just give me the fucking husky. Just kidding. I said, oh, well, because I got my cat chipped. And I said, oh, maybe it has a microchip. Like, I think you can take it to, like, animal services or a shelter. And they can scan it sometimes and see if it has a tag or whatever. And she was like, okay, um... I just, like, I can't really, Mimi, why are you hiding behind me? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Where's she fucking trolling? Anyways, so she's like, yeah, I just, like, I can't take it in, even if I were to keep it to wait for animal services to pick it up. And I was like, oh, no. And I'm walking, and the dog's following me, and I'm looking at the dog, and the dog's looking at me, and I'm like, you cute. And they said, arf. Um, so, we were like, oh, the building that we're near, let's ask the concierge. Because since the dog was staying near the building, we figured it probably belonged to someone who was at, or like who lived at this building. So we called the concierge. And well, I, we actually take it to the lobby and the lady goes back and she's like, I'll, I'll leave you with the dog. And I was like, okay. And the concierge is like, yeah, I've never seen this dog before. I have no idea whose it is. And honestly, I don't even know what to do in this situation. Um, like, should I call animal service? Should I do this? Oh, you guys want to see the dog? Show us the dog. Sure. It was a gorgeous doggo. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at the baby! <gasps> and it had different color eyes. really sweet dog loves to be pet i was like mm, ready for adoption bro and low-key when we went to the concierge and they were like we don't recognize this dog i was like is this fake and i'm not gonna lie okay i haven't lost pets are my soft spot because when I was little, I lost my cat and it was traumatizing. I've lost Mimi a couple times and it was fucking traumatizing. And so I said, maybe this is God telling me I need to, like, this is my dog now. This is my dog. 
And the concierge was like Googling what to do with the lost dog. And she was like, okay, we're supposed to call these people and they can potentially come get the dog um, and scan it and see if it has a tag, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. And she's like, but if you want, like you can, like you can go back home. And I was like, I am not leaving this beautiful dog with you. You are literally at a front desk working. This dog could run off. Like you have a job to do. You have a job to do. And she was like, oh, like it's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't want to bother. And I'm like, no, worst case scenario, I will keep the dog. And not because I want to. Just because like I don't want to bother you. Like you have a job. <laughs> like worst case like worst case scenario right right so um <laughs> i'm lost arf, arf. that logic is infallible facts so i'm sorry i can't get over the fact that literally mimi's thing is right here and she's just she's just sitting beside it like just go on top. Anyways. So, I was low-key worried. Like, oh my god, Mimi's gonna hit. This is a massive husky. And I was like, she'll get used to it. She'll deal. She'll deal. It's fine. Um, and then she calls Animal Services. And she's like, uh... One of them was closing, and they said, oh, we don't do that. This other number will. And she called them, and I think they said that it, they could only come the next day. Something like that. And I was like, oh, no. This dog is looking more and more mine. Yoink. <laughs> but then she's like, hold on. Let me call my boss. Because I think she was uh, new to the front desk or something. She calls her boss, and she sends him a photo of the dog. And the boss is like, oh, I recognize that dog. It is someone's in the building or something. And I was like, fuck. Low key, I already got attached. I started imagining my future with this dog. It was such a sweetie. What a sweetie freaking dog. I was like, I'm going to introduce the dog to the stream tomorrow. We're going to try to find the owners, but we won't be able to. And then, boom, I'm going to have to keep this dog because there's no way that I am going to give this dog away to a shelter. Like, what if they don't take good care of the dog? It's my dog now. I'm attached. They're nice to me. They let me pet them. We cuddled a couple times. So, anyways, they were like, yeah, it's this person's dog. So you can leave them here. They'll come pick them up. And I was like... I'm so happy. I'm so glad that we, f yeah, I'm glad that we found. Them. Good night. And I left because I was like, I can't get more attached. I left immediately. They were like, you can wait if you want, or you can leave them. With I was like, I gotta go. My heart. Emotional damage. Yeah. So. Now I don't have a dog, but now I really want a dog. So what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Mimi's like, mm, girl, stop talking about it. <laughs> Mimi, it's okay. I will still love you a lot. Even if I have a dog, it'll just be additional love. It's not, it's not that complicated. But huge and gray and different color eyes. Okay, it didn't really look like Mimi, but kind of looky, like with the fluffy coat and stuff. I have a husky if you want him. Just say so. Yeah. Hand it over. Gib. Gib. Why are you showing us your booty, Mimi? Is it weird that I sometimes think my cat looks like a seal? I don't know how to explain it. Do you kind of get what I mean? Let me try to find a good... F 